Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trax here, and in part 6 is Kingdom Hearts Melody Memory Let's Play. Okay, so we last left off, we finished up Birth by Sleep, and we finished up 0 0.2. So now, all we gotta do is Dream Drop Distance and the rest of Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is not that long, so yeah, we should be able to get through most of Kingdom Hearts maybe, maybe in this video. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, we're definitely gonna be finishing Dream Drop Distance for sure, so... Let's get right into it. I want to finish this let's play as soon as possible, so <laughs> no, let's do this one first. Why not? <laughs> uh, okay, it's pretty easy to get three stars in this one. Um, but yeah, the game itself is not that long, so we should be able to finish this by next episode, I think. <laughs> so yeah, it's like about seven hours long. At least when I beat the game, it was like seven hours long, so. We should be able to finish this relatively fast. This song's so good, I love it. <laughs> it's a shame that it only, only plays in Drought Distance. At least I believe it only plays in Drought Distance. Alright, there we go. I think we might have gotten 3 stars. I could be wrong, but uh... Also, I'm playing this game on a really tiny screen right now. Uh, I've got to change this, so I gotta change it once I get through this, but... <laughs> Man... I, it was really hard to see. But hopefully nothing, you know... Is wrong, but <laughs> yeah, I'm changing it right now. Are you serious? Oh, great! <laughs> I thought we got, oh, we would have gotten three stars, but yeah, unfortunately not. But oh well, <laughs> uh, one star is good enough, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, let's uh, return to the world tour. Um, so now I'm playing on a bigger screen, so <laughs> okay, this will be a lot easier. Um, but <laughs> I'm, I'm such an idiot, but. Yeah, um, how many stars do we need for this? 12. Uh, that's not too bad. Well, actually, it's a, these songs are actually relatively difficult, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know what about Dream of Distance, but their songs are a lot more difficult than any of the, like, any other, um, Kingdom Hearts game, like, music, so. Yeah, at least for me anyway, it's, it's weird. Say what you will about Dream of Distance, but their songs are a complete banger. <laughs> Like, this is so good. I mean, I, I can tell I'm messing up a lot in the <laughs> Dream Drop Distance. Oh my goodness, like... I don't know what's wrong with me and Dream, <laughs> and Dream Distance, but, uh... For some reason, I just can't <laughs> affect any of these songs. Alright. Okay, we got one. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, it also doesn't help that... Getting stars in the, uh, Dream Drop Distance required you to play it multiple times. <laughs> um, so yeah. But I'm really hoping we, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit better. Uh, this should be okay. If we don't mess up, we should get, we should be able to get three stars. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what song this is. Alright, so I think we got three stars in this one. I hit all the glide targets. I hit all the simultaneous targets. And I think it's kind of about it. I'm not sure what the other one is, but I think it's the other one's like HP. So I think, we, I think we're good. And you guys can tell my dog about to leave the room. <laughs> She's right there on the camera, but... Oh, are you serious? I didn't hit all of them? Oh, you... Oh my god, really? Oh, man. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I, I just got robbed. <laughs> so... Oh my god, really? I, I, I'm i pretty sure I hit every single one of them, but I, I guess not. <laughs> oh well, hopefully we can get <laughs> a decent amount of stars in the next world. Oh my god, Dream Distance is like the bane of my existence in this game. Like, it's really bad. Okay, so we need four more stars. Not too bad. Let's do this. Let's focus and let's get the these four stars. Ooh, this song is a banger too. <laughs> All the songs in The Hunchback of uh, Notre, uh, Notre Dame or Notre Dame is, you know, really good. Even though I never saw the movie, <laughs> I, I still think this world's really cool. Alright, not so sure I got three stars in that one, but yeah, like, I'm, I'm really having difficulty with the Dream of Distance songs. I don't know why. Like, also... Riku and the Dream Eaters aren't really that <laughs> great for me in terms of a team because Dream Eater is so tiny, like, it kind of messes me up. Oh, okay, so we did get a uh, 3 stars. Not only that, we got 69% HP, so nice. <laughs> Alright, so I believe we need one more star, so hopefully we get one more star here. <laughs> I'm just looking at this now, I'm like, I don't think we're getting a star. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is... Uh, link a chain of 150. Uh, that, that, that's like not possible. 
We'll, we'll try our best. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the the 55% excellent, but I, looking at the uh, the challenges, I don't think it's possible for me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure if I got that uh, achievement or whatever. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was all rainbow or just excellent in general. Maybe I tried really hard. <laughs> but we messed up. I messed up a lot, so we'll see. Hey, there we go, 80%. <laughs> Alright, so we got it. So now we're gonna move on to the next world. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I did not want to redo these stages again. So, let's go, let's get me out of here. Yeah. And so we need like 24 or 16 for the next one. I think it's 16. Uh, 20, okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so we need like 8 stars. Oh my goodness. Alright, so at least this one has, um, what do you call it? Uh, a uh, cutscene. <laughs> I'm like tripping it right now, but, uh, <laughs> I was like reading the, uh, the, what you call it, the achievements. But yeah, this is called One for All. The All Might song. But I noticed that the Dream Distance songs have so many, like, chains. Like, it's insane. <laughs> Compared to, like, the beginning songs like this have so many uh change which I guess it's because it's like the end game so that's why. If the Dream System was like the one of the beginner games, like the game in the beginning, then it wouldn't have this much, you know, chain thingies. Oh, I missed one of the glide targets. Man, really? Alright. <laughs> the chances are I'm probably have to replay these um these songs over again. Just to pass to the next uh the next part. Uh Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna scrub up this game, but... Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alright, so, there's no way I got three stars. <laughs> oh my goodness, like... This song was pretty good in, like, the first half. After that, it got, you know, a little tricky. <laughs> Alright, come on. Yeah, we were seven times, unfortunately. Alright, yeah, we got, we got two. That's good. Hey, look at that nominee. Um, what you call it? Cutscene thingy? But, anyway, now we're actually for... We actually had a real cutscene now, so... Let's go, let's get it. Sora and Riku continued traveling from dream to dream. However, the cloaked boy, Ansem, and Xemnas appeared everywhere Sora and Riku went, misleading them with every encounter. Meanwhile, Mickey was caught up in one of Maleficent's schemes, but he was saved by Lee, formerly known as Axel, from Organization 13. Master Yen Sid agreed to make Lee a Keyblade wielder to catch Xehanort off guard in hopes of defeating him. I don't remember, what was Kyrie doing in Dream of, uh, Dream of Distance? She wasn't training yet, right? Or was she training? <laughs> I, I don't think she was training yet. I could be wrong. But, yeah, I think she was like, you know, doing nothing. <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, so hopefully we get some stars in this one. <laughs> oh man, but you guys remember uh, what Kyrie was doing? Definitely we know, because I don't remember what she was doing. But I'm pretty sure she was doing nothing. <laughs> I remember this area in Dread Distance and... I loved exploring the whole circus area. I think it was really cool. I never did the Dream Eater thing though, like the Dream Eater battle. Um, I only tried it once. <laughs> uh, it didn't really interest me that much, but it seemed pretty cool. Like, basically Pokemon, but not really. I think they attack themselves, like, you don't really control them, I don't think. I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, yeah, two stars. It's uh, pretty good. We're almost there. <laughs> almost there to Kingdom Hearts 3. And then, after that, next episode will be all the new stuff because, um, the cutscenes are relatively long. Like, it's like 15 minutes of cutscene. Like, that, it's a long time. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What's really good is, none of my videos have been copyright claimed yet, so that's beautiful. <laughs> it, it definitely looking like 
it's a little more lenient than I thought it would be. Ooh, this song is so good. Man, these songs are such bangers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, it's, it's great. Like, all of Kingdom Hearts songs are really good, but Jansen's Sense is really good as well. Like, I don't remember all these songs being so good. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Uh, dodge 10 total range attack with jumping. Okay, so that, like, that was out of my control. <laughs> um, Violet Road Tour. Let's see how many slides we need left. I probably have to play the, uh, the yellow stages. Again, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm pretty sure we'd not get 20 stars. Uh, how much do we need? Ah, uh, one more? Are you serious? Okay, can I do this? Is there anything here I can do? Hit all glide. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. <laughs> I remember the glide target that one, and that one, and that one's a little pain in the butt. Uh, 6% of aerial. That, this, this is possible. Let's do this one. Alright, so we should be, gonna, be able to get a star here. <laughs> Can't remember. Gotta hit the ability crystals or 60% of aerial enemies. Essentially, just don't suck. <laughs> there we go. Full chain. <laughs> just don't suck always works. <laughs> oh my goodness, but... There we go. Okay, so we should be able to get... 2 stars, I think? I think 2 more stars here, so... It's beautiful. There we go. Alright. We should, we should have enough to get to the next part. And I think they need like... How many stars? 24, I think? 24 or 30? <laughs> One of those two. And oh my goodness. We're almost there though. We're almost there. Oh, I can't wait to get to the Kingdom Hearts 3 part. Cause that's when... That's some really good songs too. Even though... A lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 songs are in... This game. <laughs> Hey, there we go. A trophy. 28. Uh... I don't even know. Let's do this one first. Oof. <laughs> oh, young Zayn or Steam. Oh my goodness. I think I have so many memories of this boss fight. <sighs> I do not want to talk about it. <laughs> right, I'm telling you, time stop was so annoying. <laughs> this is a banger song though. It would've been nice if they put the young Zayn or boss fight here, but... Unfortunately not. I heard too much of this song when I was playing or fighting Data Young Day in order, like oh my goodness, like if you guys haven't watched my Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play <laughs> Um I, I said that I fought Young Zay in order on critical <laughs> at level forty <laughs> with like barely anything. <laughs> my key bait levels uh were like really low. <laughs> Oh my god, it took me forever to beat him at level 40. Oh my god. I think it took me like 5 hours in total. Like at that point, I basically knew his entire moveset. Oh my god. But I'll even beat him though. So. Yeah, anyway, cutscene time, let's go. Sora thought he had completed his exam, but found himself in the world that never was. That's like, there, that's like me in he college. He was lured into the depths <laughs> of darkness and captured to become the 13th vessel for Master Xehanort. Meanwhile, Riku had arrived to find Sora trapped in a bad dream. Riku learned that he had unwittingly dived into Sora's dream and protected him from nightmares as he slept. Master Xehanort managed to regain his form, but he was caught off guard and was unable to carry out his plan. Then he vanished, his parting words foretelling a war that was yet to come. This scene was really cool in the game. <laughs> I'm really excited to play Dream of the Distance like on the PS4. As a let's play, I didn't mean a lot of fun to do, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. It'll be like a, a year or so before we even get there. <laughs> um, what's an audio summer? It doesn't really matter. You know, let's do this one. Why not? Oh man, <laughs> I I just, I just looked at uh <laughs> the the what call it? <laughs> the achievements. I'm like. Uh, we're, we're good. <laughs> this, these two are probably a lot easier. Well, at least it's the Ansem fight. I know, right? Not the Ansem fight. The other one was the Ansem fight. Um. But yeah, this world was really short in general since. Like. It's, actually, it, no. It, this world is really big in general since, I believe. 
Oh my god, I keep messing up. But there's like no one here. <laughs> like, it, the thing that Dream Distance did really bad is that there was so like the world is so big, but there's really no one in there, <laughs> and that's what made it, you know, kind of stink. <laughs> it is like an empty, like world. No matter how big it is, it's it just felt it just felt weird. Oh, this song's so good. Yeah, <laughs> we we didn't do so well this time around. Ah, uh, I kept talking. <laughs> uh, I know one of the challenges was to get like six hundred. I think it was six million nine hundred thousand something score or something. I don't know. I know we didn't get that one. Oh my god, we gotta see. <laughs> yeah, we got we did really really bad. Oh my god, I gotta redo this. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I hate replaying worlds. Like, replaying songs. Like, I don't know why. Ah, uh, but hopefully we can, uh, you know, beat this quickly. <laughs> we've already had like 42 minutes of recording. Uh, you guys are probably gonna see like a 30 minute episode because I'll be cutting a lot. But for me, it takes a while. This another side part is really good. There we go. This one's really good, oh my goodness. I think this is the song that played when Sora's fighting Xemnas. So, yeah, so good, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Scott, I think we gotta go back and uh, play some other <laughs> song. Well, actually, we still have one more song, like the newer one. But I, I'm not sure if I uh, <laughs> can beat that one. Um, let, me, let me double check. Let's see how many stars I have first before you know I pick a song. Oh, we need two more. Okay, so I think hit all stars targets with X. And we probably get like one right there. Let's see how about this one. I think actually I think it's possible. Let's just do this one. I I think I can get two uh two stars in this one. So yeah, it shouldn't be that bad. Technically speaking, we don't have to really play any songs if I do get in this one anyway. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we got two stars. Hopefully. <laughs> but man, I bet this song had the... Into the... Uh, something. Not into the unknown. It's Darkness of the Unknown. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. Please, tell me it got... Hey, there we go. Two stars. I'm coming up clutch. Your boy's clutch. <laughs> Alright, so... Should we be able to get to the boss fight? And then... Actually, I'm not sure. Is this a boss fight? I guess technically. No, it, it, I don't remember this being a boss. I think this is this is just the cutscene. Oh, I can. I already unlocked the Kingdom Hearts three. Beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna do the cutscene. I wanna, you know, show you guys all the cutscene in this game. So, yeah. All right. So let's do this one first. I think Kingdom Hearts three doesn't have that many worlds. I think maybe like six or something. <laughs> it would be nice if they had the um the, like Vince's armor, like when need this is remnant, I have no idea. Whatever, so what's fighting here. <laughs> like, I wish they had that boss battle. But this music is so good though. Oh really? The last part the like the almost the last note I messed up on. We could have gotten a full chain this one. <laughs> oh my goodness, but alright. So that's it for Dream Not Distance. Now time for Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, hopefully we can uh, finish that relatively quickly because, <laughs> you know, um, I'll get this over with. Three stars, doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> anyway, let's go. In order to wake Sora, Riku dived into his dream once more. Riku continued deeper into Sora's dream, where he encountered those whose hearts were sleeping inside Sora's heart. Thanks to their help, Sora managed to wake up safe and sound, and Riku was made a Keyblade Master. Lee had become a Keyblade Wielder. This is the first time I've seen was brought in to become a chair when I first played this game. <laughs> Yeah, so Kyrie didn't do anything until <laughs> the end of uh, Juno Distance. Like, it wasn't until the end of Juno Distance where she actually went to Merlin to train. So, she's kind of sitting there doing nothing. Armor, we need this nightmare. Close enough. <laughs> I'm close enough to the name. 
Hey, silver trophy, light to the darkness. Okay, so yeah, so Kingdom Hearts three is like like this, this, the amount of songs that this game has like is really low. Like each world has like one song, I think. So it really stinks. <laughs> uh, this song every single time it hits home. Like the Toy Story was probably one of my favorite movies growing up. So yeah. And not only that, but the t Kingdom Hearts 3 Worlds, you get like these little movies, it's, it's great, like... Ah, <laughs> oh, like you can watch, oh, this is so good. So chances are you're not going to see any of this because <laughs> I'll be cutting a lot. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> but most of the cutscenes, or not most of them, all the cutscenes of Kingdom Hearts 3, so you guys aren't missing much. <laughs> like you guys play Kingdom Hearts 3, you guys have most, most part seen every single cutscene that played in that uh, song but I don't think I really need to get any stars I feel like in this world or Kingdom Hearts 3 I, just, I think you just need to play the song once in order to progress so I think we're good alright but anyway cutscene time let's go to prepare for the final battle with Master Xehanort Sora set out in search of a way to regain his power of waking in Olympus he learned to fight for someone with all his heart In Twilight Town, he searched for clues about Roxas. In a fairy tale kingdom, he met one of the new seven hearts. And in Toy Box, he learned hearts can reside where you least expect them. Meanwhile, Lee and I were hard at work training to become Keyblade wielders. And Riku and Nikki found a clue to where Terra was. So memories of uh, playing King Mars Three. Like I remember when I first got my hands on King Mars Three. Oh my goodness! I went a little bit early to go pick all my copy. Um. So. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, you do need stars. Never mind. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> Oh, but just the memories, man. Just picking up the game early, coming home, putting it into the PS4, waiting for the download, finishing up my dinner, <laughs> and then recording the first like two episodes of the the game. Oh, so many memories. I like Game Boy Three, probably one of my favorite games of all time. Not even just because of the gameplay, but just the sheer hype alone. And not only that, but the anticipation of playing the actual game. <laughs> like, Game Rise 3, I've been waiting for years for that game to come out, so. Tangle was a good movie, too. <laughs> uh, I remember when Tangle first came out. I feel like Tangle was the first Disney movie that really. Like, it's, it's really marked like, the new generation of uh, Disney movies. Like, this is the first time you ever see. Actually, no, not Tangle. I think. I think Brave came out before Tangle. <laughs> so I think Brave was the first... I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure it was Tangle or Brave. One of, one of those two. Basically, that was the start of the new era of Disney movies. Where they used like 3D models. Like back in the day, Disney movies were like all 2D and stuff. But this was like the first time I ever did something like this. And that, it's really awesome. Like I know there was like... What you call it? Toy Story. <laughs> like now I think about it, Toy Story was... Uh, Toy Story was ahead of its time. <laughs> um, but Toy Story was made by Pixar, which I think Disney owns. I, I could be wrong, I, I don't really know this stuff. <laughs> but I think this is like the first time Disney ever made their own movie with like 3D models. Like, this is like, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> well, whatever, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, well, these songs are so good. I'm not sure if this has a. Uh... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. I wasn't too sure. I think all these Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 worlds had the little cutscene thingy thing with G's. Now I think, why am I playing as Riku? <laughs> I've had to change uh, the team. I should put Zora down with Goofy. Another thing I really like about Kingdom Hearts 3 is how they kind of added more to the Big Hill 6 
movie. Like, I've never seen Bitcoin 6 before. I always wanted to see it, but I never really had the time. But I like how they did something different with Big Hero 6 in this world. And it kind of made, like, something, like, canon, basically. <laughs> like, how Kingdom Hearts 3 added to the Big Hero 6 movie. Whatever. I, I basically said the same thing, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. It's great. Like, I thought it was really cool. But cutscene time, let's go. Sora's journey continued. In Arendelle, he encountered a love true enough to thaw a frozen heart. And at the Laughter Factory in Monstropolis, he learned that Ventus resided within his heart. In San Francisco, he saw hearts that were being constructed from data. Meanwhile, Riku and Mickey were forced to confront Aqua, whose heart had fallen into darkness. With some help from Sora, Aqua was finally able to return to the Realm of Light. When you think about that scene with Sora and Riku saving and Aqua, the land of departure returned it really, to its former it maybe glory. felt like Riku was Vegeta <laughs> and Ventus Sora's woke. Goku, like, Thanks to Sora's Sora took power of awakening, Riku's glory of saving Aqua, save basically. Aqua <laughs> from like, you know how Vegeta always gets his glory stolen by Goku? That's how I felt. <laughs> Did Riku save anyone, can I not think about it? <laughs> like, Sora saved Aqua, um, he saved Vanitas, not Vanitas, he saved Ventus, basically, when he, you know, gave us, I uh, not gave us heart, but like, the whole power waking, whatever. Same thing with Ar Ar Roxas, he kind of, uh, saved Roxas, sort of, by basically giving him, a like, a way to get to Keyblade Graveyard, whatever, I don't even know, whatever. <laughs> he, he sort of saves Xion too, by talking to her. Okay, he saved everybody but like Terra. <laughs> so Riku didn't save anyone, basically. <laughs> oh, poor Riku. Alright, uh, let's play, uh. I, I... <laughs> I thought about it. Should I play. Ah, oh, the copyright. <laughs> uh, the, 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 uh, you know what? Let's just do it, whatever. Let's just play, um. Frozen. You guys are probably not going to hear anything, because this song is copyright claim. Actually, you know what? It, it's not bad. It, it's actually not bad. Like, <laughs> I think I've played this song in my Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play, and it just got claimed, so it's it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> like, I, I know this is fine to, to kind of put, like, it won't get blocked, I don't think. That, and you guys are probably not going to really hear too much about this song, because I'll be cutting a lot. Alright, so, you guys are not going to really hear too much about this song, or hear too much in the song, in this video, like, <laughs> a lot of it will be cut out, like, I didn't really talk too much, oh, mostly because I didn't really want to say anything, because, <laughs> um, I know I'm going to be cutting, for the most part, that entire part out. <laughs> uh, but that was good, um, I remember when, uh, you know, Frozen was... <laughs> Like, Frozen was the most uh, beloved world in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, you can tell the amount of effort they put in into that uh, that world. <laughs> you can tell Disney was like, Hey, focus more on uh, Frozen. But it looks like I have to do uh, Monster Inc. as well. And then we'll finish the last song, and then we'll call video quits. I'm recording for like an hour and ten minutes right now. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I just want to get this over with, man. <laughs> So we can continue the next part and finish it. Like finish this play once and for all. I still haven't switched to Sora and Donald and Goofy. I keep forgetting about Goofy. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I completely forgot about you know Toy Story being not Toy Story. Um, Monster Inc. being also another one of the movies that <laughs> came before um, Brave and Tangled with the whole 3D animation. But yeah, <laughs> whatever. I think it's, Toy Story is still made by Pixar, so it, I don't know. I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> um, another thing I also forgot is I forgot that Fro the Frozen World played Let It Go. <laughs> I I'm not even sure I played the Frozen World when I first played this game. Like, like on my own time. Like my first playthrough of this. Because I, 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 I completely forgot that. <laughs> like I, I really don't think I played Frozen. Because I don't remember Fro uh, Let It Go being the, the song for that world. But Alright, we're almost there. Two more worlds. Let's go. 
What sucks is that the last world, I, I wouldn't want to do it in Proud because that the song's so good. <laughs> but let's get this over with. <laughs> I, oh my god, I keep forgetting about using Sora and Donald Goofy. <laughs> I keep using Riku in the Dream Eaters. Like, it doesn't fit. <laughs> But it doesn't really matter. Got it. <laughs> He's been playing with the, the whole cutscene style, so now I'm not used to this. <laughs> Alright, one more song left and we're done with this video. Oh my goodness. Like, stars don't really matter at this point. Because I'm not going to be doing the uh, the extra stages, so... <laughs> it doesn't really matter if I mess up a lot. Like, I'm just trying to get this <laughs> finished, so... Alright, um, this song I'm going to be playing on Proud. Because this song is so good. Uh, it's called, um, it's like, this is the Union Cross song. Uh, Melody of Past Light, yeah, this song. Oh, this song's so good. Oh, it's so good. I love it. I right, switch to Donald, I uh, saw Donald Goofy. Right, we're playing on Proud. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't take me that long. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Wow, this song is so good. Oh, man. I really wish my name was on yeah, King Runs 3, but... I didn't really compete in the the big bonus challenge. Not big bonus challenge. Um, the um the high school challenge. It's easy now, but it's gonna get so much harder. I've done this before, I think. Oh, this part is so good. I love it. <laughs> Dearly beloved, so good. I just found that really that hard. I just messed up a lot, and I'm an idiot. All right, so at least we beat it on the first try. <laughs> yeah, so this song's not hard. I just I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> oh man, but oh, this song's so good. I was thinking about making a loop of that song and having the Dearly Beloved loop, but. We'll see. Uh, if I have time, I'll do it, but... It's so good, though. Oh, my goodness, but... Alright, last cutscene, then that's basically about it for this video, so... Let's get it. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. It all unfolded just as the Book of Prophecies foretold. But Sora refused to give up. His heart persisted against all odds. He used the power of awaking, and fought long and hard to save his friends. And so, the Light's defeat was overwritten, and the Guardians of Light reassembled at the Keyblade Graveyard. The deciding battle with the true Organization 13 was about to begin. As the battle raged, Terra, Roxas, and Shion were revived and joined the Guardians of Light. But Master Xehanort still succeeded in summoning the true Kingdom Hearts. To stop Kingdom Hearts I love from how Kai didn't mention power, that she just got wrecked. Sora went to the ancient city of Keyblade wielders, Scala at Kailum, and the final battle began. As the fierce struggle ended, Master Xehanort gave up the Keyblade and abandoned his plans. Kingdom Hearts was sealed away. But it was still far from over. I had disappeared during the battle, and Sora was determined to bring me back. He set off on his journey once more, alone. All right, I think that's it. I wonder, do we recap Remind in the last world? I don't, I don't remember. I, I probably do. <laughs> Alright, so that's the last world. That's where the new cutscene will begin. But we will do that in the next episode because this the amount of cutscene that is kind of long. Like it's like 15 minutes long, 15, 20 minutes long. So yeah, those of the credit and whatnot. So it, it'll be about uh, a while. So we'll do that next episode. So yeah, hopefully enjoy this video. I've been recording for like almost an hour and a half, and uh, <laughs> oh, the amount of editing I have to do is gonna be insane. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, definitely uh, let me know. Um, you know, if uh, you guys enjoying this game, you guys are playing it, and yeah, that's kind of about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this entire Let's Play, because we're almost finished. Next episode will be the last episode, so I'm going to stop rambling and end the video here, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. If you have more Kingdom Hearts Melody Memory Let's Plays, or any other Let's Plays in general, definitely hit the like, subscribe button as I plan on doing more Let's Plays on Kingdom Hearts games in the future, but yeah, that's kind of about it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.